If you've ever gotten annoyed with your partner and thrown anything you could get hold of, you don't need to be embarrassed. It is not as classless as you thought. Well, the queen did it too in her weak moments, so it is hard to imagine the king and queen fighting like cats and dogs. Getting upset and getting annoyed is pretty much part of any relationship. And if reports are to be believed, just like in any marriage, Queen Elizabeth II occasionally gets annoyed at her husband. Looking at the serenity of the queen that we have seen in public, it is fun to imagine her highness throwing utensils or anything towards her partner out of anger. But royal expert Ingrid Stewart has revealed it in a recently published book on the Duke of Edinburgh titled Prince Philip Revealed a Biography which takes a closer look at the 99 year old's life. Talking to Fox News, Stewart has revealed the high temper exchange between the royal couple and said, The couple was on a royal tour of Australia in 1954 when they were given a rare weekend off for themselves. However, the exhausted pair were also in the middle of filming a documentary about their visit. According to Stewart, tempers were running high. The tempers were much frayed, she explained. This film crew was standing outside the little holiday villa. The next thing they knew, Prince Philip appeared on the balcony followed by a tennis racket and a pair of tennis shoes thrown at his head. The Queen came out and shouted at him to come back. She then grabbed Philip and dragged him back inside. Of course, you can imagine how this sort of frumpy press secretary at the time was absolutely terrified. Stewart claimed the Royal Press Secretary demanded the crew to shut off their cameras or they would be arrested. He ran over to the crew and said, We cannot have this on film, said Stewart. This is a disaster. Give me your film. You weren't meant to be filming this. According to Stewart, the film was reportedly handed over to Elizabeth. She later came out to meet the crew and thank them. I am sorry for that little interlude, she reportedly said. But as you know, it happens in every marriage, doesn't it? While it is part of most relationships, knowing the Queen did it in her youth does not give us a free pass to throw objects and be violent with our partners. Thanks for watching, have it all daily. Please like, share and subscribe and check out our website for more on love, success, mind and body, fashion and beauty and celebrity news and gossip.